Faith in nation. Before the agricultural crisis, pro-Russian movements were rather weak and disunited, ensuring they didn't pose much of a threat to our government. The crisis has led to a shocking rise in popular support for these organizations and an increase in their willingness to cooperate. Yesterday, a famous Bulgarian writer from Kiev, Mikhail Bultakov, proclaimed the unification of the three largest movements into a singular organization known as Faith and Nation, Vera i Narod, or just VIN, supported by the Ukrainian church, itself heavily influenced by the Moscow Patriarchate. The population of southern and eastern Ukraine and many high-ranking officers this movement could provoke serious instability. This movement could provoke serious instability in some parts of our country. We really must protest. Game based stability minus 4.00%. Ivan Chernyovsky returns from Africa. Ivan Chernyovsky, a young and talented officer, has returned to Ukraine. He was a member of the Voluntary Ukrainian Division, which supported our German allies in regional conflicts in the Middle African Bush. His books on the banks of the Congo and Safari previously made him the most popular Ukrainian soldier and writer in the entire country. Chernyovsky has been promoted to the rank of colonel and will soon become the commander of the 1st Cossack Division, Sergyuskaya, which ensures this popular figure will command an entire Sorry. Which ensures this popular figure will command an elite branch of the Ukrainian army. Welcome home, Ivan. Gain based stability plus 2.00%. I don't think I'll get him as a general, but whatever. still planning to declare war on me. Dmitry Donstov deported from Galicia Latimeria. Dmitry Donstov a renowned ideologue of Ukrainian nationalism has been deported from Galicia. We had urged the local Ukrainian minority to resist the Austro where he er where he had urged the local Ukrainian minority to resist the Austro-Hungarian administration. Now he claims that our silence on the crisis has exposed the weakness of our government and that's why Ukraine should be ruled by real Ukrainian patriots. His slogan Ukraine for the Ukrainians is attractive for many is attractive to many citizens, especially in western Ukraine. And graffiti have been spotted in a number of towns. This could be dangerous for the cabinet. Since we've already lost a considerable, since we've already lost considerable support in the east, welcome home, I suppose. Gain base stability minus six point zero zero percent. Okay, let me fix something. There we go. Okay, so the Don Kuban Union has expanded. Interesting. But Finland hasn't, even though the losers do. Khrushchev criticizes the Ukrainian government. Nikita Khrushchev, a prominent Ukrainian social democrat, has opened the third congress of the Ukrainian syndicalist party. He demands that the government takes extreme measures to defend the workers and peasants from poverty brought on by, bought on by the global crash. To further, hit, 
To further this agenda, he has proposed a new program of major social and economic reforms aimed at helping Ukraine overcome the crisis. The controversial figure is going to present his plan to the Rada soon. Extreme measures, this stinks of Bolshevikism. Well, it should be, this stinks of Bolshevism, but just a minor typo. Gain based stability minus 2.00%. Our future. The agricultural crisis has almost shattered the Ukrainian economy and the stability of many of the nation's most important institutions. The king's grip on the country is weakening by the hour. Peasants loyal to the Hetman want major land reform. Pro-Russian malcontents and Ukrainian nationalists demand radical measures, and the syndicalists are mobilizing workers all over the country. Various political movements struggle for power in our teetering nation, and soon we have to choose who will lead Ukraine into the future. Ukraine will stagger on as it always has. And I believe the National Focus Tree should be open up to me soon. Oh, one thing I forgot to do was uh, train some divisions. Let me do that. Ukraine is a pretty big country, so manpower isn't, I guess, that much of a problem. But what is a problem is um, I need more factories to build infantry equipment and armored equipment. So, hang on. Let's continue. Okay, that has been bypassed. Good. It's raining here. Interesting. I have to say, I love the details of the uh, different soldiers of the different armies. Gotta love that attention to detail. Okay, now let's look at the focus tree. So I have three options. I can dissolve the Rada coalition with the nationalists, or invite Khrushchev into government. So what I think what I'm going to do is, let me just look at something. All right. Here's the thing. I eventually want to become free of German control, so what will I do? And I do want to expand as well, so I think... So, since I want to expand my borders and be, eventually, in the future, free of German control, I think I'll coalition with the Nationalists. Realizing the scale of the syndicalist threat, Hetman Skorpodsky decided to strike a bargain with the pro-Russian VIN and nationalist OUN. Both parties will get freedom of action in regions where they are especially popular. But in return, they will support Skorpodsky's regime and the king in the Rada through a confidence and supply agreement. Effect, gain-based stability plus 15.00%. That's interesting. But what about dissolve the Rada? Our Supreme Rada Parliament has always been too left and never really supported Skorpodsky's policies as Hetman. The king has been shaken out of his legislative stupor to grant Skorpodsky the authority to dissolve the Rada and to form a loyal state senate. 
stacked primarily with regime puppets and useful officials from different Ukrainian regimes. From different Ukrainian regions. And then there's invite Khrushchev into government. Nikita Khrushchev, a well-known but controversial Ukrainian social democrat, proposes the populist idea, very popular among the peasants, of the reorganization of our agriculture. We have to admit that this is that this proposition seems like it can help Ukraine in her time of crisis. Maybe we should invite him into but maybe we should invite him into government to implement these reforms. So which should I take? If I want to expand and be free of German control, I can either coalition with the nationalists or dissolve the Rada. Okay. What happens if I dissolve the Rada? Okay, I've made my decision. I will go into a coalition with the Nationalists. Hmm, interesting. So we have the Travailleurs, syndicalists in France, but we have totalists in both Italy and Great Britain. Uh, I'll save my political power for later. Apparently, Finland has become a syndicalist country under Kuledvall Manor. I research radio. Okay, Rifles and Carbines, produced by Alexander Dovzhenko. The film Rifles and Carbines, Gvin Ikvi Tat Karabini, is devoted to the story of the struggle between the Russian white forces under General George Dovsky and the forces of the Ukrainian kingdom. In 1918, in the South, during the Afsidan March, the film, which was conceived to be an answer to the Bulgakov's White Guard, doesn't try to point out possible methods of reconciliation. It raises the implication of, but raises by implication the potential for separatists and spies of foreign powers to still be hiding among the Ukrainian population and both willing 
unable to try and exploit its weakness. And both willing and able to try to exploit its weakness. Death to the enemies of Ukraine. Game based ability minus 6.00. You know what? Let me research superior firepower doctrine. You know what? Let me research mass assault. What happens if I do green? I'll do, um, tanks do I have? I'll research mobile warfare doctrine. I have some, uh, mechanized units, so that's a good thing. Hang on. There we go. That's better.
initial administrative reforms. Members of Faith and Nature and Organization of the Ukrainian Nationalists have begun to replace Hetman period officials in the regions en masse, somewhat upsetting the balance of the Rada. Surprisingly, this has had a positive effect on our economy because eager new local governments are keen to solve the problems afflicting their own towns. The first steps to reform are underway. Gains national spirit, BIN, and OUN reforms, which grants consumer goods factories minus 2%. Production efficiency cap plus 3.00%, gain based stability plus 6.00%. Okay, the Russian Republic is at war with the last order. Yeah, I'll take these tanks from, uh, oh sorry, these, uh, Mauser rifles from Flanders Wallonia. Who's the Prime Minister of Flanders Wallonia? Oh, Paul Van Zeeland, okay. It's weird that Russia's at war with Alash Horda. They're kind of... Shouldn't Russia be focusing on defeating the Bolsheviks? I don't know. Priorities, am I right? What's Transylmer doing? Okay, they're not at war with Russia. Central America. Oh, Guatemala. No, it's uh, Honduras. Or is it Nicaragua? No, no one's at war with anyone. I think it's just some skirmishers. Okay, Belgium has declared independence from Germany as Belgium. And Paul Van Zeeland is still the Prime Minister. And they're still giving me tanks, even though they're no longer at war with uh, Indochina. Okay, what's this? Well, apparently I'm, uh... Oh, but now Belgium's in the Reich's Pact, okay. So apparently Vietnam and Laos... Oh no, it's just Vietnam. Vietnam is now a German puppet state. And Tron Trong Kim is the Prime Minister. What's going on? Looks like the Vietnamese... Or I should say, it looks like the Indo-Chinese revolutionaries are going to lose this war. That's what I'm thinking here. Yeah, it doesn't look good for the uh, Indo-Chinese revolutionaries. I have a feeling the Bolsheviks might take over all of Russia, and that would certainly not be uh, very good for me, uh, playing as Ukraine. But I'll worry about that later. 
I'll research basic machine tools. So I can do one of two things, Church of Nation or Requisition Polish Farms. Um, I think I'll go with Church of Nation. It seems that Mikhail Bulgakov, with the help of VIN, has finally found a method by which the land question can be resolved amicably. The Ukrainian Church, which is part of the Russian Orthodox Church, will sell vast swaths of mostly unoccupied lands to the peasants at a discount, but Orthodoxy will be recognized as the formal state religion in Ukraine. Effect, game-based stability plus 10.00%, game-based war support plus 5.00%. I'll go with that. status quo in Italy. Interesting. No, I don't have enough. I'm not going to create this much of a Ukrainian empire, but I'll pass. Could I honestly... Oh, the absolute mad lad. Could I do it? German East Asia have it. Chinese Revolution has been defeated. Still need more light tank. I still need more manpower too. That sucks. I have low manpower. That always seems to be a problem. Hang on. There we go. Two admirals in the Black Sea. take a few more days, then I can do this, then this, then this, then I can get to the secession question. Um, I want to finish this part of the, this political part of the treat first. Let me look at what else I got to do. I'll definitely go for the Galician question. Let me build 
some motorized divisions. Just two, that's good for me. Recognize Russian. One of the biggest problems which exists in Ukraine is the language question. De facto, the Russian language is used by a majority of the population, but its usage is prohibited by the state institutions. VIN has always opposed this prohibition, and thus it is with great pleasure that Mikhail Bulgakov is now able to abolish this language law. Gain based stability, plus 14.00%. Russian Republic gains Ukraine recognizes Russian as an official language. Opinion of them changed by plus 50. Remove national spirit, issue of the Russian language. All right, let's do it. Apparently, the civil war in Spain has been averted. That's all right. What is the Donbass Union claim to me anyway? I'll research this first industry. Okay, they claim some of these regions right here. No, these, these two border regions, Yuzovka and um, Starobielsk.
Eastern Free Trade Area. The Eastern Free Trade Area with Ukraine has shown its benefits. The borderlands, which have been deserted since since the sorry, the borderlands which have been deserted since the Velt Creek are full of collieries and ironworks now. The unemployment rate has reached the lowest level since 1918. This is a great example of the successes bought by Russo-Ukrainian cooperation. Effect. Russian Republic gains free trade agreement with Ukraine. Opinion of them changed by plus 20. Gain based stability plus 10.00%. I don't know if I'll ally myself with Russia. I think I'll just be alone. I'll only be willing to go to war with Iron Guard Romania if I know I have allies. I don't know, maybe Bulgaria? I don't know. <laughs> Democracy prevails in the Philippines. Cool. I'll go with this infantry company, KBP. It's the only one I got, so. See if I can build more factories. Okay, Canada declared war on Panama for some reason. Maybe over the Panama Canal if, if I got. A, Yeah, they probably declared war on um, Panama because of the whole Panama Canal thing. Yeah, Canada wants their hands on it. That's the thing. So, and now Costa Rica's in the Entente. Okay, the Baltic War has begun. I gotta be honest though, I want Estonia and Lithuania. I'm sorry, Latvia. I want Estonia and Latvia to become independent from the United Baltic Duchy. I feel like they deserve it. Okay. 